Hello, you beautiful people. It's Tooth here, Tooth Decay. This time we are in Dwell City Living in Nottingham. This is like a, an apart hotel, very cheap, very reasonable. Um, so this came in at £70 a night. It's on the second floor, room 26. It's a twin room. Um, unfortunately, the lift weren't working, but hey, you can't have everything. So standard door lock. There is no need to put your library card in. There's nothing like that there. You've got a smoke detector just up there by the light, so sorry about the glare. Okay, right up to the left of the door, it will be behind it as you come in. You've got loads of hangers in there. And there's a ironing board as well. There's a couple of push to open cabinets up here. That's just additional duvets and stuff. And you've got another load of shelving there. And then come across, you've got coat racks, I guess, if they're wet. And then you've got an iron and a hairdryer up there. I forget what they're called because I haven't got much hair. Um, nice big size mirror there. And TV smack bang in the middle of both of the beds. So here are your beds, that's the bathroom there. We'll come back and have a look at that in a minute. So there you go. Now what is that? I didn't see that before. Oh, that's got to be the room thermostat. That's fine, we've got air con. So let's move around here. There's the fan control as well, as well as for all the lights. Here you've got double plugs right by between the beds, which is nice. Only one USB, but hey, I can live with that. Um, nice little touch, I guess. There's a, an iPad down here that controls the TV and everything like that. Um, or the channels, I should say. You've got the actual TV remote there as well. I don't know if there's anything in that. No. Um little lamp on the side there oh fair enough you have got another usb on that side as well there's a couple of plugs there and again a light control a couple of plugs down below the tv as well got a little work desk over here again you've got a usb port in there nice little chair to work at and then you actually get like a little kitchenette here as well so let me just take you through what's here. So you've got an okay sized microwave, nice and clean. Nothing, oh, there's some bits and pieces up there, looks like papers and stuff. Um, there's more for storage. In this one here then, you just got a couple of cups and a couple of glasses. Soft clothes, I notice. A uh, couple of bowls and a couple of plates, plus a little plate. Here you've got a small sink, um, hand wash, nice touch. You've got a decent enough kettle. You've got another couple of plug sockets there. There's a light switch there. Oh, look at that, that all lights up. That would have been better. No biscuits, no biscuits in the bag books. You've got a two ring hob. There's a decent enough size fridge there. No freezer, but I guess you can live with that. Um, in this one, you've got fairly well stocked cutlery and utensil drawer. Under there, you've got some pots and frying pans and a cutting board and bits and pieces. And then in this final one over here, you've got your bin and a few cleaning bits and bobs. Not much of a view out the window. I don't know if it's got dark here. Yeah, it's getting dark, so it's hard to see. Right opposite world of drinks. And then I think if you walk, yeah, out left over there, you go down into, sort of down towards Market Square. So look, no breakfast included, but you've got all your, your make it, breakfast making stuff there. For £70 a night, I think this is pretty good for a business trip away. Um, room's pretty warm at the moment. I'm filming this in mid-November 2023. Let's just have a quick look at the Kazi. So you've got a 
decent enough shower there. They're not um, expecting you to nick that big bottle, I suppose, which is why it's not in one of those um, nickable, unnickable things. But, uh, really clean in there, yeah, give them their due. There's a couple of little bits on the, that you could, you could pick fault at if you really wanted to, but no, it's pretty good. Um, there's a couple of shaver sockets there. So there's a 115 volt and a 230 volt. You got little sink again, hand wash, nice couple of bog rolls down there. Um, the, the, the right, the Kazi, right? You are you are well squashed in there. There is not much room at all. Um, um, I ain't tall by any means, but my knees were touching the heated towel rail. Thankfully, it's off, and my arms were against the sink. Um, that's just kind of gave away what I was doing there now, didn't I? But anyway, look, it's fine. It's for a night. I ain't moaning about it. Uh, just saying, if you're a, of the taller persuasion, you might have a little bit of a problem with it. But there you go, peeps. Dwell City Living Apart Hotel. Um, and the other thing I should say is that it's uh, online check-in. Um, there's no reception on site. So make sure you do that. I had to upload, um, it was passport or driving license or some other ID card. So make sure that you get that uploaded um, and then they should send you a code. I didn't get mine, I had to write to them, um, but they got back to me within a couple of hours and I got my code. Um, so just make sure on the day you're traveling that you, you see if you've got your code first off. That code works for the, the code for the outside door downstairs and for your room as well. Right, okay peeps, 70 pound a night. One night we're staying here, Dwell City living in Nottingham City Centre. That's the lot off your pop.